Apron box arrived uh, the other day. What we're gonna do is um, a recipe review. I ordered actually two recipes, a, a steak dish, and this one is stove, shop, stove top chicken parm. That's how it's supposed to look in the, uh, in the camera. I'm gonna go, uh, go ahead, we'll take the ingredients out of the box, we'll cook it up, we'll see it, how easy it is, how simple it is, how fast it is, and most importantly, how great it tastes, and then um, I'll give you my opinion. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are ready to go with our Blue Apron stove top Parmesan chicken. There's actually not that many ingredients in here. It was easy to unpack and get going. Um, I'm actually just gonna unwrap all of these various bits and pieces. There's a little package here with our seasonings and our cheeses. Um, I think all we're really gonna need in addition to what Blue Apron sent us is a knife, cutting board, some scissors to unwrap this stuff. Can opener for our can of tomatoes. I'm gonna get this stuff unpacked and then um, we're gonna come back and uh, start cooking it off. All right guys, so we are going to, or are we, I am gonna follow the, uh, the recipe, the blue egg recipe as true to form as I can, um, which is gonna be tough for me because it's not what I normally do um, in terms of recipes, but I've got a pot of water on the, um, on the stove top. This is our zucchini washed and cleaned and it says to uh, go ahead and have it and then cut it essentially into little half moon dices. I'm gonna make mine about a quarter of an inch. And then we're gonna go ahead and um, cook off our zucchini in a non-stick pan with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. All right, so again, in the spirit of following the directions, I missed that we're supposed to chop up our garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead, I think this is a quite a bit of garlic that they gave me. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up maybe five of these cloves or so. Nice, easy way to um, unwrap the garlic. You get rid of all that loose paper, take off the end that looks more like a root, give it a little whack, and then hold the tip, and then you get a nice, clean piece of garlic there. I'm gonna go ahead and do that with the other pieces, and um, then we will come back and do the garlic. Sorry, do the zucchini. Okay, so my prep work, which was pretty minimal, I got the chicken out of the bag, I tore the, uh, the mozzarella into pieces, chopped up some garlic, pretty rough, and made these half moons of zucchini. I've got a pan here, nonstick, over good high heat. We're gonna add a, uh, a drizzle of olive oil, enough to kind of coat the bottom of the pan, then we're gonna cook off our zucchini. I do love the advice it gives to put the zucchini in a single layer on the pan and, uh, and leave it alone. Once you put it in, just kind of get it on that layer and don't stir because you want to get some caramelization, some brown color on those edges. I like to get them on the, uh, on the side. And we're just going to let those go for about two minutes or so. Hopefully we see some of that, um, some of that brown color forming. You should see you know, a good amount of sizzle with that oil in there. If it's not, the pan is not hot enough. Okay, so my zucchini is going, it's still just like 30 seconds in, it's got a little bit of time, but our instructions are to add this, uh, this pasta, it looks like I would call this ziti, to the, um, to the pot of boiling water. You gotta hit a little bit of salt in there as well to get that um, salt flavor into the pasta, give it a little stir, and then stir it every two or three minutes. Okay, so our, uh, our zucchini now, good high heat, a little bit of olive oil, not been going that long. I've got a little bit of red pepper flake. The instructions say add it if you want it spicy. I'm gonna keep mine just, you know, just barely spicy with a couple flakes in there. Just to give you a sense, if I toss it, you see that nice caramelization now on, uh, on some of those zucchini? Those are done. They've still got a little bit of bite to them. I'm gonna take this, move it off to a, uh, to a bowl to hold it and then um, go clean out our pan. All right, so I just rinsed the, uh, the pan out, gave it a quick wipe down, because um, you don't want, you cook too many things in the same pan, you're gonna get a little burning on there, a little scorching, scorching. I'm gonna add a, another drizzle of olive oil, enough to coat the pan. And I've got our chicken seasoned on both sides. Now these are, um, I call them like little chicken tenders, salt and pepper on both sides, and they're gonna cook pretty darn quick because they're really thin as well. So I'll lay them down in the pan and they're probably only going to take about a minute, maybe two minutes per side and get that olive oil all over the place. 
Again, just like the zucchini, you want to let them just cook. Don't touch them, don't fiddle with them. Let them sear on that first side. All right, so we're going to do a quick check-in on our pasta, and I can tell with these tongs already. It's not quite done. We want to cook the pasta till it's al dente, which is a little bit uh, to the tooth. And you see these chicken tenderloins up the sides. They are uh, they're getting done. They may stick a tiny bit on you. That's okay. Just pick them up on one end, and they will. Good chance they're going to just fry up for you, even in a non-stick pan like this. And the other thing I did, or I should say I forgot to do, is um, I forgot to add our chopped garlic to the, to the zucchini. So what I'm going to do as soon as I get these turned is I'm just going to give them about 20 seconds. Then I'm going to come back and add our chopped garlic to the pan and then um, some of the other ingredients. All right, we're kind of in the home stretch here with our chicken. What I'm going to do is um, I'm going to bring, actually, you know what? We're going to add the garlic to the pan and just let that start to cook off and soften a little bit. I think you got to be really careful when you add the garlic to a pan like this because Frankly, overcooked garlic is really bitter and not all that tasty. So we're just going to let that go for another minute or so. To me, the pan also looks a little bit dry. So we're going to drizzle just a little bit more olive oil. I'm going to turn the heat down. We're going to add, let's add our Italian seasoning first. And then we're going to add our tomato. I think the whole can, honestly, is a little bit much for me. So I'm going to add about half that can. And then what we're going to do, we're going to turn the heat down just a touch. Maybe. Any places where you see a whole bunch of that Italian seasoning, just kind of shake it off, get it mixed in there. Maybe go a little bit more tomato. There we go. And then we're going to hit it with our um, mozzarella cheese that we tore up. My pasta is going to be just about done, so I'm going to go ahead and drain that. I'm going to finish putting our cheese down, and then we're going to come back and finish this uh, finish this off. Okay, so I just drained off our pasta. That's in a strainer over on the uh, over on the sink. I've got our chicken here. I laid down, finished laying down the mozzarella. I'm going to give it a quick cover and let that cheese melt off for just a couple minutes. Okay, so I just slid our chicken over here. It's still covered, still got the cheese melting. I'm just going to finish off our pasta. This is the same bowl. This is the same pot we cooked our pasta in. That's our uh, zucchini back in along with a little bit of that remaining in olive oil. I actually, recipe doesn't call for a little more olive oil, but I think a little bit more olive oil. Add that to our pasta in there as well. I'm just going to use the tongs. We're going to mix this up. If it uh, said if it looked dry, go ahead and grab a little bit of pasta water and throw it in there. I think we're okay though. This is going to be ready to serve. The do, you do want to give it a quick taste. Plenty of salt in there. I'm going to grab zoom, the pepper. Yeah, salt in the water really, you know, got a good amount of salt in the, um, in the pasta itself, which is going to be super nice. And the other thing I'm going to do, a little bit off recipe, but we're just going to kill the heat and give us a nice little package of Parmesan cheese. I'm going to throw a little bit of Parmesan cheese right in our pasta here. Off the heat, so you don't run it into any kind of melting issues. This is just going to add a nice, another dimension to the pasta itself. I'm betting our uh, cheese is going to be melted in about a minute. Let's go ahead and plate it up. All right, so let's come on in. Look. That looks pretty damn good. Gooey cheese, yummy chicken, and some awesome sauce there. I'm gonna go ahead and grab 
I've got a little spoon. Again, that pasta with the zucchini pieces in there. Gotta make sure we don't leave that zucchini in there. For me, you gotta make sure that zucchini is not overcooked. So you gotta do kind of a really quick job on it. We will do half of it in here. This is two portions worth, obviously. And then for the uh, for the chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and use a um, spatula here so we can try and keep that chicken and cheese looking nice on top. I lost a piece here, but that's perfectly fine. You just gotta hide it. Then you can, um, you can always take a little bit extra sauce in there too and add that around the plate. Let me drop this. We've got our Parmesan cheese as well. Let me wipe this plate, make it look nice and pretty. So we got our presentation down solid. Maybe a little drizzle of this Parmesan cheese. You know, I honestly, I would also throw maybe a little drizzle, extra drizzle of olive oil on here as well. I think that would be super tasty. And here we go. Stove top. Chicken parm from uh, Blue Apron. Super easy to do. That took me about 40 minutes, soup to nuts. All right, so this was Blue Apron's chicken parmesan on the stove top. Really easy to do, actually. Everything uh, unpacked super quick. There wasn't a whole lot of ingredients, and um, you know, certainly for the time and effort, you get a whole lot of flavor. I'm gonna recommend it. If you wanna check out more, go ahead and follow my follow the link over to my site, no recipe required, and um, if I can get one, I'll even throw in a link here to Blue Apron so you guys can buy it directly if you're interested. I'll see you next time on No Recipe Required.